Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of kooky, crazy kids in love that love doing some reaction videos together. Kooky and crazy. You know, it rolls off the tongue. Yeah. And so a lot of what we do is we take requests from our community and uh, you all introduce us to the coolest stuff. On this channel, we're doing um, you know a lot of music and TV and movie stuff and animation stuff that we don't haven't normally covered before. So this is an animation and I think music as well. It's uh, Lullaby for a Princess Animation. Um, don't really know anything about it, but it's been requested, and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and check it out and see how it is. Okay, let me get a lullaby. Yeah. so sad. She messed up, judging by the lyrics. Once did a pony who shone like the sun look out on her kingdom and sigh. She smiled and said, sure. No choice. No. <gasps> the years now before us, fearful. I never 
Okay, yeah, I mean, that definitely was sad. Um, I think it was a good animation, and uh, I think it was a beautiful song, and, you know, it's, uh, I think those of us that have siblings can definitely identify any time that Canelo's you know, story about sibling ri rivalry ever comes up. Um, what'd you think? I mean, I, I totally agree with you. I'm an only child, so I don't have the benefit of coming at it from a sibling rivalry perspective, but sort of what I just got from it was how so often we can be our own worst enemies, whether mm. that's through envy, as the the lunar sister, the darker sister, yep. um, had, or self-absorption, as the protagonist in this had, the, the white pony, I guess, mm -hmm. um, sun pony, based on their symbols, that neglect and feeding sort of those inner demons can, can lead to something so horribly catastrophic as it did between them. Yeah, and uh, we've talked about this before, but I think that it, it also is... Kind of like a, a good message, not just for uh, you know, siblings and whatnot, but just in general about how you would talk about like, you know, the, the sister that had um, went to the dark side kind of had envy, but it was also kind of just like, like she was in the shadows and she was kind of being forgotten and overshadowed by her, by her sister. Especially in the world we live in now, I think a lot of people can feel kind of like sort of isolated and alone yeah. and um, have that feeling of like, you know, not being seen. So you never know what kind of kindness, um, just like a smile will, will will help towards somebody, you know, like holding the door open for them, you know, saying thank you, just little niceties here and there just go go a long way and let people know that like, you know, yes, like, like they, 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 are, they are being seen and like, you know, just because you never know that that might have some, what, that effect that might have on somebody that like is kind of feeling like alone or isolated. Yeah. And I think also we're as a as a society and, and sort of like a, a culture, we're in this weird space where we are all projecting only our best selves and and mm -hmm. sort of this image of, of perfection that like oh we have this super exciting life and we do all these amazing things and like we never have a day at home yeah. in our pajamas <laughs> of like no makeup and messy hair yeah of course we do everybody does mm -hmm. when the uh princess that was going to the darkness the princess pony was coming at her sister that was like all like beaten and on the ground and like her sister kind of knew she had to go like basically like supernova and expelled her from the from the world um it made me think of a league of their own where uh yeah. you know it, the stakes were a little bit less um <laughs> but you know it's nobody yeah, died in that movie <laughs> yeah 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 uh um dotty's at, at at home plate and her sister's round, round in the corner and, and is, isn't stopping, is running straight to. They have a head-on collision right at the uh, at home plate. And Spoiler then, alert, if you haven't seen that movie, you should go out and see it and don't watch the rest of this movie. But if you have seen it, true. stay tuned. If you've seen A League of Their Own, <laughs> go watch it right now and stop watching this. <laughs> thanks, thanks for that. Of course, sorry. <laughs> but, but basically, like, you know... Uh, the big sister kind of like you know takes a dive for the for, for the smaller sister right? and you know like lets her shine and like and like the the bigger sister was always overshining the little sister and then finally like this was her moment like you know and they were they, they weren't best friends at this moment and she could have ha let her pride get to her and be yep. like no I'm not, I'm not gonna let you win like you gotta take this from me um, and you know it's left a little ambiguous whether or not she actually did you know let her little let her little sister finally win or whether her sister finally earned it. Um, so I think it's both. After seeing, reading the title and seeing this animation, seeing like a pony on it, I like, I didn't really expect it to be so, I don't know, I guess deep and, and emotional and, uh, and kind of sad. Um, yeah, I was thinking this was just going to be something cute. And, yeah. and then it turned out to actually provoke quite a conversation with us and life lessons, more life lessons. Yeah. <laughs> and let us know what you thought down below in the comments. We love interacting with you all down there. And then just keep in mind that our reaction for a lullaby for a princess animation is definitely not definitive.